Hi everyone, my name is Bill and I'm with Louise Michel here, who's two months old. If you go to the Montmartre in Paris, you can see the go to the street where Louise Michel launched the Paris Commune by attacking uh, various of the general uh, soldiers of Napoleon III. I think we need to take inspiration from the Paris Commune and from Egypt where people are finally getting themselves together and showing that they mean business. Um, this is with the uh, University of Strategic Optimism and in spite of all of the Tories cuts I think there's plenty of reasons to be optimistic not least when we find out that those cuts are built on total lies. I'm doing a PhD in economics um, at Manchester Business School and it's a little known fact that 200 billion of the debt is actually owed to the Bank of England. Who owns the Bank of England? The British government. Another 140 billion pounds of debt is actually assets owned by the Royal Bank of Scotland and Lloyds. Who owns the Royal Bank of Scotland and Lloyds? The British government. So 350 billion pounds of this so-called unaffordable national debt is actually owed to the British government. It's a remarkable thing that when you include all of this assets that have been created through the course of the crisis, the proportion of debt to GDP has actually gone down. Now this is a little known fact and it's not one that you will hear widely broadcast in the media and then you have to ask yourself why that might be. Might it be something to do with that 22 millionaires are in the Condemn Coalition government? That perhaps it's something to do with the fact that David Cameron is himself a great relative of a bastard child of Charles II. Um, <laughs> might it be that something to do with the fact that Nick Clarence fled from the Russian Revolution with their jewels stashed in their knickers. So, this is a class attack by a few ruling class parasites on us that, and they're trying to destroy everything that we've known to love, taught and yearn and nurture us over the years and we've got to say no to these cuts, no for us and no for the future generations like Louise Michelle.